Hello and welcome to the C3DNA demos. We're going to introduce the concept of uh, C3DNA's infrastructure independent dynamic application lifecycle management across hybrid clouds in these uh, video demos. Uh, before we get to the demos, we would like to introduce you to the C3DNA philosophy and uh, why we do what we do uh, and give you some background. So, first of all, uh, C3DNA's philosophy is that the application should drive IT, not the other way around. And, and the reason for this is that infrastructure providers or infrastructure simply does not have the end-to-end -end service visibility uh, view and, and hence the ability to control the application quality of service. And guessing application intent at runtime will simply just not work. This is the approach taken by many others. So it's our view that uh, in order to maintain or manage application quality of service, which we define as uh, you know, all attributes associated with application delivery, such as availability, performance, security, even compliance, cost management, etc., must be uh, managed distinctly from, uh, from infrastructure quality of service itself. So if you look at this from a logical view, uh, you have the applications on one end and the infrastructure on the other, and uh, there's a clear separation that we maintain between the two. Um, so in our platform, uh, we establish an infrastructure control plane across uh, a set of uh, resources, which could be uh, a cloud resources or distributed resources or basically uh, you know, private cloud resources, etc. And then on the other end, you have the application for workflows and the application components that you're trying to run on this infrastructure. Um, what happens in the C3DNA, in C3DNA platform is that each of the uh, application workflows is managed top-down and through a service control plane uh, requests resources from the infrastructure control plane and so this is how we're able to provision resources and and the resources that are provisioned are essentially these meta containers which um, which can are capable of hosting or running application components or workflows and uh, these are provisioned according to the requirements specified in the application blueprint and once that has been uh, the application intent and the application um, requirements have been specified through the blueprint then the service control plane can provision these resources and then also place or schedule the application processes into the appropriate meta containers and then after that there is a feedback loop which uh, uh, which provides monitoring and visibility into the applications themselves uh, back to the service control plane so uh, this is information coming and, uh, you know, being collected about the operating system, uh, around the application containers, and about the application themselves, uh, providing information on how exactly uh, those applications are performing at a given instant. And this can then inform the service control plane on what further actions to take um, in order to maintain or ensure application quality of service. So this could mean uh, moving an application uh, workflow component to another resource that is uh, uh, more appropriate for the current uh, quality of service requirements uh, or copying state or um, you know doing whatever needs to be done uh, from an application perspective the important part is everything is being driven top-down from the application uh, so there's no infrastructure orchestration no VMs are being orchestrated or copied or uh, moved around in order to establish or uh, ensure application quality of service. Um, the next piece uh, or an important piece of the whole system is the blueprints and the policies. The blu blueprints capture the application uh, functional as well as the non-functional requirements. Uh, so here you can see that we have a set of components that comprise an application workflow and then there's a blueprint here that describes a single component and then a blueprint that can be composed around all those single components or the collection of single components to establish a blueprint for the overall application workflow. 
That is what we're trying to demonstrate here. So here for this single component, you have uh, the, the uh, component described, and then you have the hardware and software requirements. You have the uh, replication or the auto failover requirements. And finally, you have the policy requirements or is expressed in simple rules. So here we have, for example, a rule that says if the system CPU is greater than X, then execute a particular behavior. Or we could have a application-centric behavior that says if the response time from Apache is greater than X milliseconds or Y milliseconds, then take a specific action. So that's, in essence, the uh, overall introduction to the uh, C3DNA system. The key points to remember is that we manage application quality of service top-down without uh, infrastructure orchestration. And uh, in order to capture the application intent or, and the quality of service requirements, we use blueprints and policies.